Have you ever hit delete on a file and felt that rush of satisfaction? Like you've just erased your past mistakes, embarrassing screenshots, and questionable late night downloads? Well, what if I told you that your deleted files might not actually be gone? What if they're still hanging out somewhere inside your device, quietly judging you like digital ghosts that refuse to move on? I'm Professor Everything, and today we'll be answering the question, where does deleted data actually go? Right here on Explaining Everything. We all love the delete button. Click it and suddenly you're a hero. Gone are the embarrassing selfies, the weird text drafts, the evidence of your questionable life choices. Problem solved, right? Not really. Hitting delete is kind of like yelling, I'm invisible in a crowded room. Sure, it feels like it works, but everyone, and I mean everything, can still see you if they know where to look. When you delete a file, your computer doesn't throw it into a fiery digital pit. Nope! It just marks that space as free and says, Hey, maybe we'll use this later. The file itself? Still chillin' there, like that one guest who won't leave your party. Think of it like shoving dirty laundry under your bed. It's out of sight, but it's still there, silently judging you every morning. To understand where deleted data goes, we need to peek under the hood at how computers store things. Don't worry, no engineering degree required. First, let's talk about hard disk drives, or HDDs. Hard drives store files using tiny magnetic patterns on spinning disks. And when you delete something, the drive doesn't actually erase the pattern, it just removes the file's name from the directory and says, this spot is free. Probably. The data itself is still sitting there, relaxing, waiting for new data to kick it out. And where do we usually find HDDs? In the year 2025, they still show up in desktop computers, older laptops, budget PCs, external backup drives, and especially big storage systems like servers and video archives. Basically, anywhere people need lots of storage without selling a kidney. HDDs are slower than SSDs, but they're cheap and huge, like the Costco version of storage. So, if your device still has one, congrats! You're using classic storage technology that refuses to retire. Meanwhile, SSDs, or solid-state drives, are faster, quieter, and generally smarter than old hard drives. When you delete a file, the SSD gets a command called TREAM, which simply tells the drive that certain blocks are now free to use. But even then, the data doesn't disappear right away. It stays there until new data replaces it. And where do SSDs usually show up? Pretty much everywhere speed matters, such as modern laptops, gaming PCs, high-end desktops, tablets, smartphones, and even portable drives that don't sound like tiny lawnmowers. If it boots fast, loads fast, or makes you say, wow, that was quick, there's an SSD inside doing the heavy lifting. So why don't SSDs erase everything instantly? Because wiping data takes effort electricity and energy, and your SSD is basically saying, delete it now, ugh, I'll get to it later. So, whether it's a hard drive or an SSD, deleted files aren't really gone. They're just invisible to normal humans. For now. Here's the scary and fascinating part. Yes, deleted files can often be recovered. Since deleting doesn't immediately erase the bits, special software or even forensic experts can dig through your storage 
and rebuild the files. That's why people can recover lost photos, documents, and even embarrassing stuff you thought was gone forever. Even on SSDs, fragments of deleted files can sometimes hang around because of how the drive manages data. Think of it like a stubborn piece of toast stuck in the toaster. Eventually, it will go away, but not immediately. Of course, over time, as new data writes over the old space, your deleted files finally vanish. But until then, they exist in a kind of digital limbo, a ghost town of old files waiting for someone to stumble upon them. Now, ready for the truth? Deleted data doesn't go anywhere. It stays right where it was on your drive. The delete button just removes the map that tells your computer where it is. Without the map, the file is invisible to you, but the bits themselves still hanging out like awkward roommates who refuse to pay rent. Eventually, new data will overwrite the old ones. Then, finally, the deleted file disappears completely. Until that happens, your deleted files are just waiting. And in the cloud? Same idea. When you delete something online, servers mark it as free space, but copies can still exist in backups for a short while. So your deleted photo might still live somewhere in cyberspace until it's truly gone. So, next time you click delete, remember, nothing actually travels to a magical void. Your files don't vanish. They just sit quietly, waiting for someone or something to overwrite them. The delete button is more like a polite suggestion than a command. It tells your computer, please ignore this file. And the computer politely ignores it, mostly. In other words, your deleted data is in a kind of digital afterlife. Invisible, but very much still there. Delete responsibly, my friends. And maybe stop taking so many selfies, just in case. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.